Hello everyone, so I am back again with another video and I put together a kit, a lace kit, because as you'll see later on in the video for the journal workshop, I am decorating the cover that we're going to be uh, doing for our journal and a lot of the lace and trims that I use, I put in this kit. So if you wanted to make something similar, you would be able to pick up this kit and be able to create using some of the laces and fabric that I use. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what comes in this kit. I did put together 10 of these. I have 10 ready to go, ready to ship out. However, if I sell more than 10 of these, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on a pre-order status and then if you could just get those orders in right away for me so I can get these uh, you know, made up as quickly as possible. So each, uh, each piece of trim here, it is a half a yard that you'll get and there's eight trims that come in the kit. I try to make it so you'd have a nice variety of trim and really what I end up using in the project that you'll see you know it'll be enough left over for where you could probably do three four maybe more journal covers or you know whatever you might want to use this lace trim for i try to make sure that you had plenty to use as with all of our kits you know we are always my mom and i trying to make sure that you get more than enough and I really wanted to include some nice, high quality trim here. I just, I think it's all so pretty. I did do a previous video showing the order that I received and I had planned on putting a kit like this together a little while back. Unfortunately, I just wasn't able to get it together before I had to leave. So yeah, I am back in the studio and I'm working really hard and uh, I hope to just kind of get back into the swing of things and you know the the orders i know some of them like with items that are pre-order items um, we had covid come up and then orders were getting delayed and then shipping was getting delayed and everything just kind of got out of whack but it seems like things are you know back on track and so hopefully no more waiting a month or so for any of your orders. Um, I really apologize for anyone who had to wait on pre-order items. Uh, my hands were kind of tied on all of that and I've said it before but I just want to kind of say that again. So like with the kits that I've been showing in the last few videos you will get those within you know two three days from the time that I showed the video. And there was the piece of fabric that's a 15 inch by 15 inch panel fabric that you'll get and it's nice high quality upholstery fa um, fabric so you know it's a really high end uh, type of material. I loved the pattern, I loved the colors and that's why I selected that. And then this is a piece of lace that I did use on the journal as well and some pink trim and some bling. And I thought that you could take this strand of rhinestones and create a little dangle because that's what I end up using on the journal, as you'll see. And I thought you could just kind of be a little creative, cut it up in pieces and create your own little dangle. And that's why I included these few pieces here uh, in the kit. Okay, so again, you'll get eight half yard pieces of the trim you'll get this bling and uh, the fabric is a 15 inch by 15 inch panel and I'll have this kit available at my dreamsetc.com site so you can run over and pick one up and let's go ahead and jump into our journal workshop and creating the cover for our journal and I'm going to focus mainly on decorating the cover in this video. I was really wanting to do something real like 
fun. <laughs> After being away and, and all of that, I really, I'm telling you, I was so excited to be back in the studio. And to me, it just, I thought, you know what? We're going to decorate this cover. I just came out with a new collection and I couldn't wait to use it. And so I thought that I would use one of the designs from the new Bohemian Flare collection. And also, uh, try my first attempt in using felt and that's what you see me working with right here is some felt that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. This caught my eye because it had that Parisian look to it and I loved the colors. I loved the black, pink and kind of that golden green color. So what I'm doing is I'm figuring out what measurements I will need, I, I want to make sure that I have everything centered on the front of my cover. So I'm just figuring out what these measurements are going to be. And I have my signatures that I'm placing down onto the felt to determine about how wide I will need that front cover to be. And so that's all that I'm doing here. I do want to make sure that I have some extra width for that edge there and it also will allow me you know if I want to add anything more to my signatures I also have that added width I just I'd hate to make it too small I'd rather make it a little bit large so that's what I'm doing and now after I figured out you know how big my front cover is going to be and it's going to be around Oh, six and maybe like close to seven inches by nine. So seven by nine. That is going to be the size of my front cover. So now that I know that, I'm going to take that design that I was telling you about from the new collection. I couldn't decide if I wanted this design because I really do like this one. But I decided to go with her because to me, she just, she is an, a really good focal point, I think. And I just, I love her. So I'm going to use her and I'm going to tear around her. And I want to make sure I tear in the direction so I have kind of this jagged white edge. And I don't want to tear too fast because I don't want to tear through the flowers or tear through any sections by accident. And so what I'm doing is I'm just kind of tearing along around where those flowers are. And then kind of just tearing almost straight down from there. And I want to make sure the reason I have that white edge showing through is I thought that where that paper is really thin, when I glue it down onto the fabric, I just thought I would be able to collage it in really nicely without having this rough kind of edge. So that's why I'm tearing around this that way, if that makes sense. <laughs> Okay, I really love her. So if you're wanting to create this cover, you can just pick up one of those lace packs and then you should be able to make a cover very similar to what I'll be showing in this video. Now, if you don't have one of those lace packs, you could use whatever lace you might have on hand. This is a great project to use if you have just a lot of little pieces of lace that you're trying to use up. And I'm going to show you a few different combinations that I do. Uh, again, I've not really done anything like this before with felt and paper. So this is kind of a you know first attempt here, but I thought that it would be fun to try to do something different. I'm always trying to do something different and kind of just play with this beautiful lace and see what we can come up with here. 
I loved the way the black lace worked on this cover because I thought that it had this contrast to it and I love contrast. I love working from light to dark and that black just kind of popped from the, the cover there and so really liked using that black lace and I'm just taking some of this pink, it's kind of a sequence type trim and it adds a little, little bit of bling but it's just a nice soft pink trim and I'm just kind of figuring out how I might want to lay some of this lace down onto my cover. But as I said, if you don't have a lot of these laces, you can just take whatever scraps you might have and just kind of, you know, play around with them and see what you can come up with. And truly, I mean, you don't even have to use the same design that I'm using here. You might have something else that you want to have as a focal point for your cover. And so you could just be doing something different as far as the design, but still follow the technique in creating your cover. To me, it's, it's kind of like working with a puzzle. <laughs> just trying to figure out, you know, the shape and kind of piecing everything on here to where everything flows and I'm trying to work with the colors and the pattern of the felt and so I'm taking all of that into consideration as I'm layering these pieces of trim onto my cover here and what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to just put on some music and let you follow along and see you know, some of my ideas on how I'm going to layer this, I do come back and I clear it all and start from scratch and then start gluing things down once I determine, you know, what I like or have an idea of how I might want to place all this lace down on the cover. But in the meantime, this might give you some ideas on, you know, how you might want to layer the lace, you might want to go with this first option that I show as opposed to the second one just to give you some ideas. I like to show my entire thought process from start to finish so you can always see how things progress and yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and start the music and I'll be back. Take me on a treasure hunt I long for something new Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance? Oh, I wish it was me
Okay, so what I did is I just took some black soot distress ink and I distressed the edges and then I glued the design down onto the felt. And now I'm going to actually take my lace and start gluing things down and building it. So what I did is I took some of that layered lace and I cut it in half just to make it so it wasn't quite so wide. And then I have this yellowish lace, which I thought kind of tied in with that yellow green pattern on the felt. And I wanted to introduce these different colors with the lace other than just white, black, and pink. Um, so I tried to add little accents of some of the blue and some of that yellow lace to kind of tie those colors together. So what I'm going to do is start off with this first layer of lace. I glued that down and then I thought just to add some variation I have that little flower drop type lace that that Venice lace and I'm going to use a little piece of that just for that bottom right corner there again just to kind of add in a little variation there I guess this is kind of like a collage with lace <laughs> would be a way to think of it and I'm just Again, kind of seeing how I might want to layer all of this together. And then with that piece of black trim right by her hair section, I cut that to kind of make it look like there was a curl there, kind of make it look like it's actually part of the design. So I kind of shaped that lace to make it look like there was curls in her hair. And then I'm going to add a layer of this yellow lace on top of that lace that I placed on the bottom. And I'm just going to start building my layers here, working from the bottom up. And as you can see, I'm when I'm placing the lace down, I'm trying to place it so it kind of ties in with the design. I really am trying to focus on making sure everything kind of flows together here. And so, again, if you don't have the same sort of lace that I have, and depending upon the sort of design you're using, one thing's one thing to keep in mind is to look at the pattern or the design that you're working with and just kind of try to tie it all together when you're shaping your lace or cutting your lace. And now I'm going to take and glue a strip of that lace at the top section there. I kind of want to make sure everything's balanced also when I'm laying my lace down. So I'm trying to balance the black lace and the little accents of gold that I have here and there and make sure everything, again, just making sure it all flows really nicely. You know, it's something where you can just grab all your trim and all those little bits and pieces and just kind of take your time and have fun with it. Uh, you know, it's just kind of one of those things where I think with art in general, if you take your time with it and enjoy it and enjoy the whole process, the end result usually ends up being, you know, like a wow factor type of, uh, of finish. <laughs> so yeah, now what I'm doing is I, again, I'm looking at that design and I thought to kind of bring it out and tie it together. I took some of that yellow lace and I'm going to put that kind of around that headband there. And now I'm just kind of thinking how I might want to, you know, 
add those little extra touches and incorporate everything with the felt design and the printed design and so forth. And again, making sure that I have those balance of colors. And again, I do have kits available that have all these laces that you're seeing. And so if you're wanting to recreate this and you don't have a lot of lace on hand, I do have those kits. The link will, down, the link will be down below. I have 10 of them ready to go. And if 10 of those kits sell out right away, I'll go ahead and I can make up some more and you know we'll just kind of see how it goes but I will have those available so you can kind of see how these little bits of lace they just add a lot and I'm just adding these little pieces of that blue um, trim that I was talking about again just to kind of give it as an accent color and tie in with that little piece of blue where her headband is. And then I want to add in more of this black. Again, I just think that black adds so much to this cover. And so I'm just cutting up all this lace in little pieces and trying to figure out again how I want to incorporate it so it flows nicely and all the colors tie together nicely and so forth. And I'm just using my um, fabric glue to glue everything down but you could use your hot glue gun um, I'm not sure, you know, with these lighter trims, I know you could even use my glue. They would work really well. The heavier trims, I would really recommend like a fabric glue if, you know, you have that on hand. And if not, you could always, again, use your hot glue gun. I decided that I wanted to use a lighter lace, more of a see-through type lace. In covering the sections of the felt that were still kind of peeking through just to kind of tie it in a little better it seemed like it was missing something and I loved the design of this lace here and this lace does come in that kit Again, most of the laces that I'm showing you here will be in that kit. And so if you hop over to the shop and take a look at the kit, you'll be able to see the eight laces, or I should say the eight uh, trims that you'll get. You'll get half a yard of each. You'll get this lace. You'll get some bling and other things to finish your cover off with. And so I think you know, there would probably be enough trim to do probably four covers, at least, you know, four covers or so, maybe more. And I'm excited to finish my Bohemian Flare collection. I did release the papers and I'm working on the ephemera, the envelopes, tags, and so forth. And so I will be releasing those soon. And as soon as I finish up this journal workshop, I plan on jumping into doing another project with that collection. I just, I love the way that collection turned out. <laughs> So yeah, I really like that uh, lighter lace, that lace that you see me using right there. I love how that 
is kind of giving it that finishing touch and you can still see the design from the felt coming through. Again, if you don't have this felt, uh, you could use any sort of fabric. You could use canvas, you could use muslin, you could even use hardback cover books. There's, there's a lot of things that you could use in place of what I used. Again, even if you didn't want to go with this design and you don't have the exact laces, you could do a similar technique in, you know, just find that design that you want, that focal point that you want for your cover, and yeah, just start pulling out your laces and cutting little bits and pieces, or maybe you already have everything, you know, in bits and pieces, and just start collaging everything together and having fun with it. And as you can see, it really adds a lot when you take and use little pieces of lace. You know, I'm not using big strips here. I'm trying to keep uh, everything kind of piecing it so it, it works with the design and kind of, again, so it flows. Everything flows. And so after I get done with decorating this cover, uh, in the next video, I plan on adding in the spine and then the back and the inner section of the cover. And again, you'll see here shortly the fabric that I decide to use for that inside. That fabric, again, is part of that lace kit that I'll have available. So if you're wanting to replicate this uh, again, I will have the fabric and the trim all in that kit available for you. And I'm starting with 10. And as I stated previously, if the 10 sell out, I can make some more and have those available. It, the first 10 will be able to ship out right away because I have them all done. They're all ready to go. And if they sell out, it probably would be one to two weeks before I could get the others shipped out. But, you know, don't hold out. And, you know, please be sure to order right away, even after those 10. So I know how many I need to make. Um, sometimes if the orders come in, and let's say I get like a certain amount within one, two days, and then I make everything up. And then if orders come in after that, it takes more time to pull everything out again, make more and so forth. So yeah, if you like the kit or you like these laces and the fabric, just make sure you get your order in, uh, even if the 10 have sold, so I know, you know, how many more kits to have available. And again, if you could just give me like one to two weeks, just because right now I'm finally caught up on most of the orders. Uh, the kits that, if any of you ordered the kits that my mom made, those are going out in the next day or two. So everything will be caught up, but I'm still in the middle of designing the new collection for Blue Fern. And that's on a really strict, deadline. So I'm trying to kind of juggle things as far as that goes. And yeah, um, lots in the works here. Okay, so what I'm thinking on doing is I took a piece of chipboard and I'm not sure on the width yet, but I did make it nine inches in height, which is the size of my book. And I'm thinking I want a more durable spine, but I'm not sure yet if I'm going to use this chipboard. It's just kind of something I'm thinking about doing. I might have it just a soft type cover. I'm not sure yet. I did want to figure out how wide my book was going to be and get my fabric ready. So that's what I'm doing here and it ended up being 15 inches in width and then 9 inches in height and again this is the fabric that you would find in that lace trim pack that I'll have available. I loved this fabric 
it was, uh, I think I got quite a few yards of it. And so I thought it would be fun to just kind of put it in with a lace, kind of a lace kit and have all this available for you. So again, if you wanted to create something similar and you were wanting to use a lot of the laces that I used, you would have that option to be able to do that. Okay, so I found this little pendant. I thought it needed some bling. And I got the pendant at Hobby Lobby. And I have a few left. So if you're wanting the pendant, you know, just shoot me an email and I'll see what I can do for you if you can't find them at Hobby Lobby. Or again, in the lace trim pack that I'll have available, I do have some rhinestone, like I have a rhinestone strand. You could just cut those and create a little dangle and it comes with a little pendant. So, you know, if you have a little butterfly maybe or a circular uh, pendant of some sort, you could just take and create little dangles um, to make something similar to what, you know, I have shown there. Okay, so I'm getting to the last parts of decorating this cover and I thought that I would add in a little more of the gold trim up above. So I'm just going to take these little pieces, glue those under that yellow lace there. And then to tie in a little more of that blue from her headband, I'm going to take my alcohol marker in a similar blue shade, try to find the closest one that I have. And I'm going to color in those center stones on that little flower rhinestone um, charm there. And also in the little rhinestones of the pendant, just to bring in that blue color a little more. And then it will be done. And I'm going to just use my fabric glue to glue down these metal pendants. I found that the fabric glue works really good and the type that I'm using it's been discontinued unfortunately but I uh, will probably be going back to Fabri-Tac and using that I found that it works really good with um, these metals when you want to attach them to fabric or you could use your hot glue gun <laughs> All right, there is the cover. I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. I'd love to hear your comments on, you know, what you thought. If you're going to make this and give it a try, would love to hear uh, what you guys think. And, you know, if you're enjoying these videos and you want to see more like this, as always, you know, hit that subscribe button and uh, I sure appreciate all of the support. And I will be back very soon with the next video, again, where we will finish up the cover, hopefully get into the binding, maybe get into finishing up some of those signatures. That might have to wait until the next video. We'll see how far we get. But uh, yeah, I'll be back very soon with another video. Thank you so much for watching.